indigenous home and abroad took part in the event to discuss ways to contribute their quota towards the socio-economic development of the area. The moment we are taking out the politics, then it can still stand. You know, it's the politics that people are using it and trend positions. So what we have done, we are building a non-partisan unit. So some of us that we are leading, we don't belong to any party. We are more citizenry. So we are making sure that this is what we are going to do and we'll be able to hold the two sides together. A protracted chieftaincy dispute and partisan politics have over the years been cited as a major contributory factor to the underdevelopment of the areas. The Yellow State has vast limestone deposits which are currently being mined, but the area is not benefiting from the royalties because of the lingering chieftaincy dispute. The Eastern Regional Minister Seth Achampon is concerned. The money keeps building insofar as the company mines the resource from the area. Every resource in mind, it must pay royalties. That is mandatory, that is by law, statutory. And so it's keeping that amount. We have to go check the accounts. And that is why I keep encouraging the community to come together and employ the usage of these funds to the benefit of the community. That is all my focus. Former Finance Minister Seth Tekbe, who also hails from the area, noted that much development could be achieved if the people were united. The Chieftains' dispute is following an orderly course, you know, under the constitution. And it's gone, you know, from the traditional council, Eastern Regional House of Chiefs, National House of Chiefs. So it's our expectation that once the ruling is given, you know, then it would, it would bring the people together. Chief Executive Officer of Magdan Group, Dr. Daniel Macaulay called for the empowerment of the youth to enable them to take advantage of income-generating opportunities. Look at Greater Accra. I believe that the youth are becoming lazy and lazy and lazier. The opportunity is there, but the direction in which they are looking at it might be the wrong direction. The Yellow Crowbot Municipal Chief Executive Eric Tete wants indigenous to rise above partisan politics to develop the area.